Hi everyone, today we're going to have a look at how we can create some more speed in the swing and to do that we want to get the arms moving fast so when we take our sit up we're going to be leaning a little bit left on the wall bending over enough of the hips that we can get the arms just slightly bent so the, the shoulders and arms have got to be relaxed at the start and that way we can get the, get the club moving first so get the club swinging early so when I go up to the top trying to get the, the, the arm swinging the club up here so when I'm, at, when I'm at the top I'm still relaxed enough in the arms here so I get, I've got a bit of tension in here from the turn but my my forearms are pretty relaxed shoulders are, are pretty relaxed so they can really accelerate down fast so if I can get myself in that right starting position so left over arms relaxed so my arms are slightly bent not locked out straight if I get too, too straight, I just can't create any speed with the arms and I'll get too much body motion. So I've got my arms slightly bent and relaxed. I'll get the club swinging up to the top. I'm still relaxed up here. And then when I start down, I'm just going to shift a bit onto the left leg. So a bit of weight onto the left foot. And then I'm going to accelerate with the arms. So if I can, the only way I'm able to do that is if I keep relaxed enough. Okay? So let's try a shot here. So I've got relaxed arms. I lean on the wall. I'm just trying to get the club swinging on the way back and get the club swinging as fast as I can on the way down with my arms. So I'm able to create plenty of speed with not a lot of motion. So I think a really important point about this is we're always trying to create speed with the whole club. So what I visualize always is to get is have, to have my left arm, my right arm and my club as one unit and try and get that moving fast. What we want to avoid is just trying to move the club head fast, okay? So you get too much hand action, you won't have any control over the ball. You might have club head speed, but you won't create any pressure on the ball. So I think it's better to think of the club as one unit, club head and shaft, and just try and get the, the whole shaft moving fast. So what we're really trying to create is arm speed and speed of the whole shaft that we're able to create pressure and be able to control the ball flight.